Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Today I want to show you how you can use Blender's amazing modifiers to quickly create a stylized roof and basically the whole building. If you're new to the channel and you'd like to see short tutorials like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button and the bell button to get notified when I release something new and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new to the world of 3D and Blender, and you want to become a 3D illustrator, go and check out my courses that are carefully designed to teach you beginner and intermediate skills in quickest and most effective way. For example, with the new Ultimate 3D bundle, you can go from simple cubic designs all the way to full character illustration in a matter of weeks. So if you're interested, please go check out the link in the description. Now let's jump right into empty blender file and I will start by creating a cylinder to create a shingle for our roof. So let's press shift A, mesh, and a cylinder. First of all, I don't need so many segments, so let's reduce them to something like 12. That should be enough. And let's tab in and delete the top and bottom faces. Press X and delete faces. And now I want to make this smaller because it's two meters in diameter. So let's press A to select all and S to scale it down right in the edit mode. Something like this should be enough. And additionally, let's press S and Z to scale it up. Okay, let's now delete the parts we don't need. So I will click the face right here and hold control and click here to select the part of the loop. Let's press X and delete faces. Now let's select all by pressing A and let's press Alt E and extrude faces along normals. And let's extrude them inside like this. Additionally, we can press S to enable even thickness like this and left click. Now to be sure our normals are okay, let's press A to select all and Shift N. I will tab out now and let's go to the modifier stack and let's add first modifier and that will be the array modifier. And we have a right direction. This goes along the X axis, but I want to switch off relative offset and I want to enable constant offset because I will be modifying the shape of the shingle a little bit later and that would mess up the array modifier and that would mess up the array modifier. So let's start with the constant offset and let's reduce the distance. So they touch here and now we can increase the count to something like 12. Let's start with that and we'll see how that works. And now let's add another modifier and I want to make this go all around. So let's add simple deform modifier and I want to switch this to bend around Z axis and you can see as you're adjusting the angle you can make a full circle out of this. So that's what I'll do, um, 360 degrees here and we can add another array modifier here. Let's add another one and I want to switch this relative offset off and go to the constant offset and let's set the distance X to zero and Z. Let's adjust it to something that works here, something like this. And additionally, you can move this array modifier before the simple deform. It really doesn't matter here, but I like to have these array modifiers close to each other so that I can easily tweak some of these options between them. And now what you can do is to press tab to go into the edit mode. You can see we still added the one original shingle and let's modify the shape. So I will press two for edge select and alt click this edge right here and make it larger. So press S and scale it up like this and move it out. So press G then Y and move it out like this. And additionally, you can press G twice to slide this up a little bit. And this will give us much better shape for what we need. And I think it's too thick here. So we can additionally select this loop right here by holding control and clicking left mouse button and make this smaller. And maybe drag this up tiny bit and additionally modify the array Z offset. Okay, this will work, I hope. So right now you can see there are holes there. I want to cover that, so we'll need to modify the offset on the X axis here, like this. But you can see there's still one gap and that's because of the bend modifier. But you can easily go here. If you just drag, it doesn't let you go uh, more than 360 degrees. But if you enter the value manually, it will allow that. So I think something like 375 should work here. Okay, and let's add another row of these shingles here. Let's collapse these modifiers. And there's one last important modifier, but before we add it, I want to move this in the middle. So let's go for a top view by pressing seven on a numpad. Let's press G then Y and move this. So it's approximately in the middle here. 
Okay, that'll work. And let's add the lattice modifier. I really like this modifier. It allows you to do great things with your models. But before we get it to work, we need the lattice object. So let's press Shift A and let's go down and create lattice. Now we can press S to scale it up so it covers the roof here or the base of the roof. And let's shape it up a little bit. I'll press Tab and you can see you can move these control points same as with the mesh. So let's select the top points and be careful that you don't accidentally select anything at the bottom. Let's make this smaller and you can enable X-Ray right here and let's scale this up. Okay, I think that's a great shape to start with. So let's see how that works. We'll select our roof object and let's use the eyedropper and pick the lattice object. And you can see it already does something. So now um, we can just press G then Z and move this object down. So it better fits the lattice position. And now we can make these proportions even more pronounced. And here we can go even smaller like this. And you can even go negative if you need much more sharper end and you will see what the modifier does if you start moving this up and down you will see how the model reacts to your modifier sometimes it can be a little bit clunky so you just need to get used to it but it's not hard to find the shape that you really like so for example this is something i'm going for here and basically this is the roof that i can use if you drag both the objects at once nothing changes the deformation stays the same so this is ready to be used as a roof you can parent these objects so they move at once and you don't mess anything up and you still have the original shingle editable right there so that's the roof but you can go even further and use the second lattice modifier if you need to stylize the entire building so for example let me create the cylinder here i will press shift a add mesh and cylinder and i will just move it down like this so that this is a little tower or something and i will add some loops so it can be bent so let's press ctrl r and create like three cuts here and we can press shift a and add another lattice object right here and let's scale it up like this let's scale it on a z-axis so it covers the building and now if you go to the object data properties, you can see you can modify some properties here. Um, for example, if you can't find a shape that you really like with the lattice modifier, you can change the interpolation. Maybe that would be the best way to approach here. And I wouldn't need to cross this if I choose linear interpolation so that the bends aren't curved but i like this as it is let's move on to this other one and the reason we are in the object data properties is you can increase uh, the number of segments of the lattice modifier here you are not able to do this as with the standard mesh by slicing the object you need to add these things manually so let's add a few segments right here this should work just fine and let's go into the edit mode I will toggle the x-ray once again and let's move things around a little bit like this that should work and now let's select the roof object and let's add another lattice modifier and let's pick the new object and you can see the roof is now shaped by two objects and the only thing we need to do is to add the same modifier here as well. Remember, you can just shift click the first object and use this arrow here to copy to select it. And now you have two objects that are shaped by these two modifiers. And this is the easy way how to create a shape like this. You don't need to create all of this geometry manually and using proportional editing. This is completely non-destructive, so you can still have your original geometry in place. You can even replace it in the edit mode and you still have your modifiers ready and set up to shape your object however you want it. Yeah, that's for the modifiers. Basically, this is what I wanted to show you when it comes to roof. You can go and enable, for example, smooth shading and auto smooth and adjust the angle so you have some nice smooth roof like that. And same for the building.
I will now go ahead and create a small stylized scene out of this so you can see how it works in the context of a larger illustration and I will see you on the other side.
So that's the stylized roof illustration and little stylized building illustration for you. I really hope you enjoyed it and that these modifiers can help you with your work. And again, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe. It will make my day. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day.